Okay, so I think we should go through the door with ten Myoji. I'll take ten Myoji, so we'll go through the blue door. Hey, but I picked Betray last time. Exactly. So I'll just make you pick Ally this time. Well, I guess I should say you won't have a choice. So, mind telling me how you'll do that? <laughs> I'd love to, but we don't really have time. Ask me again later, okay? Fine. You're on. Well, if he picks Betray and I pick Ally, I'm dead. So we're doing option A. That means Luna, Dio, and I will go through the green door. Which leaves the red door for Quark, Kay, and me. Any objections? Good. Let's go. Listen, um... Take care of Quark, all right? You needn't worry. I'll watch out for him. Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Right. I'm going, I'm going. With only seconds to spare, we dashed through the blue door. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors. Closing. If you can hear my washer in the background, I apologize. Three doors. Which one should we take? That seems like kind of a silly question. I mean, they're all locked, aren't they? How can we go through any of them if they're locked? Oh, this thing here's got a lever on it. Maybe that does something. Why don't you pull it and find out? Right. Hey, looks like one of them opened. But only one. Why is that? They're probably telling us we should go that way. Might as well then. P E C pressure. Something. Something. <laughs> I don't know. So this is the exit, huh? Nothing. Lock tight. Won't even budge. So what the hell is this Your place? P-E-C. Guessing it's not for working out, though. It looks like it's probably an acronym or abbreviation or something, but for what? Prepared emergency chocolate, private ecclesi ecclesiastical commode. Oh, wait a sec. There's a manual here. I think it explains what this room is for. What's it Hold say? On. This facility is pressurized, maintaining much higher air pressure than the surrounding environment. Airborne viral contagions. What? Quiet. Keep reading. Right. Airborne viral contagions have necessitated this step, which is intended to prevent contamination of the installation. All persons wishing to exit the facility must do so through this pressure exchange chamber. Once the chamber has been sealed, the pressure can be lowered to match the surrounding environment. Pressure exchange chamber, that's what it means. Before the PEC can be depressurized, all occupants must be wearing level A hazmat suits to prevent infection. 
The PEC will not function unless all occupants are wearing appropriate protective equipment. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? Are they trying to say the air out there is full of some horrible virus? I don't think it's just any virus. It has to be Radical Six. Oh, man. Then that newspaper article was true. Several long moments of silence crawled past. The three of us just stared at one another, our minds working to make sense of this new information. Eventually, Clover shuffled to one of the lockers and opened it. Is this one of those hazmat suits the manual was talking about? Yeah, I figure they are. We won't be able to get into the pressure exchange thing unless we've got those on then. Getting that room to decompress is the only way we'll get outside. So where is the actual decompression room? Have a look. See that lift over there? Oh yeah. This room's divided into two floors, upper and we're lower. On the lower floor right now. Earlier we were on the upper one. Yep, that's right. And this is the actual pressure exchange chamber. Just make sure everything's recording. Okay, looks good. No good. This one's locked too. Won't open, huh? Okay, it's probably pointless, but humor me on this. Let's go put on those suits, come back here, and try the door again. Maybe, just maybe, we can get out. It does seem like that's how this thing is supposed to work. But do you really think it'll be that easy? It's hard to believe Zero Senior would make that big of a mistake. Well, let's have a look around anyway. Maybe we'll find something about that virus. Yeah, good idea. What are we standing around for then? Get to it. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we're down here. It's in these lockers. Hey, it's a cardboard box. This is all junk. Nothing useful in here. It won't open. Is it locked? Yeah, looks like it. Shit. It's locked up tight. Hmm. Hmm. What are you trying to do? Use x-ray vision. Okay, so nothing important. I thought I saw a box like... Aha, what's this here? No, no. Is that a barometer? The needle's in the middle. It says it's 1.5 atmospheres. That must be the normal pressure for this building. Remember? It said something in the manual about the pressure in here being higher than the pressure outside. Yep, it certainly did say that. Stop that. How do I... No. I'm trying to get it to get at the file. But... It's like, what the? Uh, 
I mean, if you see it, you should be able to get to it, right? <sighs> Later. Okay, looks like we have to go back up. Everybody on? Yeah. I'm good. Okay, here we go. I see a key there. We'll get that in a moment. Wait, what do those numbers say? I'll take a look later. One of those protective suits. If we put these on, put these one, we should be able to get into the decompression chamber. Well, let's do it then. You managed to get it on? Yeah. It's a little big on me, but I think I should be okay. I'm ready to go. Good. Should we go then? Yeah, might as well. Let's see what else is here. Well, this is the machine, I guess. I can't find a power button. Me either, but there's a cord coming out of the back. See? Yeah. That's a USB cable. You think we're supposed to plug it into something? The file there. And this is the manual I was telling you about. Remember, I read it to you. Oh, you mean that thing about how we had to wear the protective suits to enter the de decompression chamber? Yeah. Well, there was another piece of paper in there. It has some kind of drawing on it. What? We have found an instruction manual for the outside of the pressure exchange chamber door. You can view it in the archive. And this seems important. We'll handle that later. Okay, it's more suits. It's a protective suit. Keeps viruses and stuff out. Looks like there's a bunch of them. I still can't believe it. How can the whole outside world be infected with some virus? Yeah. It's too horrible. I hope it's not true. It, it can't be. I think Zero Senior just put these here to mess with us. I hope you're right. No good. It won't open. It's locked? Looks like it, but I don't see a keyhole. There's no keyhole. I don't think we can open it. You're right. Guess we might as well leave these suckers alone for now. Okay, so it looks like... Yeah, just, just more suits. Okay. Two, five, one, one, three. Huh. Is there something in there? Looks like a key. I feel like this glass panel is supposed to open. And of course it's locked. So we can't get to the key, huh? That would be too easy. I wonder what this number is. Do you think maybe it's a hint to help us unlock the panel? Hmm. 25113, huh? So, two, five, one, one, three. So, diamond, cylinder, trapezoid, trapezoid, 
arrow. Diamond, silver, bear, trapeze, my trapeze. Assuming. Let's give that a try, though. I don't see why not. I wonder what these five cylinders are about. Hmm. Press the triangular buttons above and below the column to change the image. Change all five images as appropriate, then press the L button on the right. Right, let's do this! Okay. So it was diamond. Cylinder. Trapezoid. Trapezoid arrow. Wait. No. Hmm. Ah, uh, I don't get it. Let me see what that drawing was about. Outside. Okay, that doesn't really help me with this puzzle. Maybe I have it backwards. Maybe the diamond is one and the trapezoid is two. So, two, so one, two, five, so two, five, one, one, three, let's give that a try. Trapezoid, hourglass, diamond, diamond, star. Two five one one three. I don't. What am I supposed to do with these five symbols? Back down it is then. I guess we'll move forward. I don't know what else it could be. Let's try it. Now that we've got these things on, we can go inside, right? What the hell? The handle still won't move. Maybe that touch screen on the door unlocks it. What? That's a pain. Why would they do that? Security, maybe? Hmm. When you touch the yellow guide ring, other rings will appear to other po at other points that you can draw lines to. Touch one of these other rings to draw a line connecting the two. Repeat this process until you have connected all three pairs. Remember, however, that the lines should not overlap or cross one another. All right, let's do this. I think I know what this is. Okay. So, we need the red to the orange the yellow to the green, and the black to the white. And they cannot overcross. Okay. Got to make everything complicated, so... isn't too terrible. A 
All the times I played those uh, hidden object games are paying off. If you're gonna play any hidden object game, the Dark Parable series is one of my faves. There we go. Good job! You did it! Nice work. We should be able to get this thing open now. Okay, so now we're in here. Hmm. A tablet, huh? There's nothing on the screen. I don't think the power's on. Is there a switch or something? Not that I can find. Really? How the heck are we supposed to turn it on then? Take a closer look. It doesn't have a switch, but it does have a USB port. Maybe if we plug it in, it'll turn on? I think so. All right, so we'll have to do that. So here it is. So two, five, one, one, three. So it's kind of like a backwards L. Okay. Let me, I'll have to do that later. Let's take a look at this hideous thing. A model of Zero Jr. It looks like it's actually plastic. Yeah, it's inflatable, like a beach ball. Well, it's damn creepy, that's for sure. You got that right. A plastic inflatable version of Zero Jr. Okay, nothing else there. There's a key up here. Do you think maybe you're supposed to put it in a keyhole? What else would I do with a key? Don't know what it goes to. Hmm. Looks like this is the decompression button. Want to try pressing it? No rush. We still haven't taken a good look around the room. We can always decompress later. Anything there? No. What I mean there, I mean in that little corner. Oh, wait. What's this? A box on the wall. What sort of a box? Well, it's not a treasure chest, that's for sure. Maybe it's full of, like, electrical circuits and stuff. Forget about that box. Look at that door. Do you notice anything? Like what? A sheet of metal. No good. It's not going anywhere. Hey, this door is welded shut. Looks like it. How are you so nonchalant? That door and the one we came through that led us in here are the only ways out of this room. See? So, even if we did decompress this room, we still couldn't go outside. That's right. This is a dead end. No. That's what I was trying to tell you. Didn't I say it wasn't going to be easy before we got here? Think about it. There's no way in hell Zero Senior would let us out that easy. Otherwise, what's the point of all of this? But... Damn it. <sighs> and I was getting all hopeful. This sucks. Hey, Clover, where are you going? I'm going upstairs and taking this stupid thing off. It's not like I need it, right? It's hot and it's uncomfortable. I'm out of here. Well, there she goes. <laughs> what the hell was that noise? I don't know. But I've got a bad feeling about this. I've got a bad feeling about that. P 
Preparation complete. Now beginning decompression. Three, two, one. What the fuck? Why did that happen? Hell if I know. Why are you asking me? We need to get out of here, now. Come on. He won't budge. Just use the panel, remember? Like you did to get us in here. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Pressure differential is too great to open door. Shit. Damn. I guess we're going to have to equalize the pressure before we can get it to open. Oh, shit. <laughs> it got big. Must be the difference in pressure. You ever taken an unopened bag of chips to the top of a mountain or something and it gets all puffed up like it's a, gonna pop? <sighs> Same sort of thing. I guess, but this is just... Looks like it might be about to pop. Okay. So... That should be the pressurization button. Hit it! Right. Insufficient power for repressurization. Please root additional power. Well, that's that, I guess. Damn it. I wonder if... It popped! Don't worry. I think that was the point. See? There was something inside. Is this a doll? Apparently, it was inside the other Zero Junior. There was a Zero Junior inside of Zero Junior. Hmm. This thing's pissing me off. Well, I don't like it either, but we don't really have a choice, do we? If it's here, then it's probably part of one of these puzzles. No, that damn thing's not going to help us out. Get out of this room. Just leave it. We can come back to it later. All that's left of Zero Junior. He gave his life for... for something. When he exploded, I think he bent this metal plate over here. Want to take a look? There are pieces. Hey, the plate's rattling. Zero Junior's explosion probably knocked it loose. I think maybe we can get it off now. Give me a hand. Fine. Okay. This cable is red. Hmm. There's something in here. There's a yellow one and a purple one. It looks like they're part of some kind of machine. This... This is... This is a laser emitter. What the hell? That sounds like something from a kid's show. Well, what am I supposed to call it? That's what it is. What does it do? Focuses and emits a high-intensity laser. They're usually used to transmit energy. Didn't think I'd find one of them here. Whatever. Come on, let's hook it up. Hook it up to what? The end of one of these cables. A yellow laser emitter. I can put it on the ends of cables.
wrap it up. Mm. Not that one. Let's see here. Should have done it. Yep. Oh, what was that? Maybe it's the pressurization system starting up. It should have enough power now. Good. Maybe now we can get out of here. All right. Press. Press the damn pressurization button. On it! Repressurization preparation complete. Repressurizing now. Three, two, one. Look, the needle's back to normal. Thank goodness. Looks like we did it. Let's get out. Er. All right, we've restored pressure. We should be able to use the door panel now. Just like when we came in, right? Let's go. Wait. Okay, so you know that folder that's underneath the machine that I was trying to get? Apparently Clover was supposed to pick it up, um, but I couldn't get her to do it. Um, I couldn't figure it out, so I'm just gonna try and do what this little thing says. So Good work. What's going on? Did you guys unlock it? Yeah, looks like it. Hold on, I'm opening it now. Okay. Welcome back. I'm glad you're okay. Thanks to you, Clover. We would have been toast without you. Thanks. Aw, that's okay. You don't need to thank me.